form on the 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 one has wood the human heard 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 a uh, a uh, one has 
we through the meaning to fairy forget our own hypothesis so we so we we hippa 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 great temptation that the animal figure has to go human you you your own darkness Multiply their form, transform themselves into the flesh of flowers. 
Flowers that mark the path of St Ecton's miraculous journey. Flowers that mark the transformation of an Ecton from human to plant to saint. Foxgloves the shape of droplets of blood. Foxgloves that mark the line of a miraculous journey. A man has gone mad in a distance, overwhelmed by the breaks in reality. He only wanted two cows. St Ecton has drawn foxgloves from his reformed head. He has become plant. He has drawn the line of a miracle. St Ecton drops down at the ancient altar.
Nettles are fiery, spiky, stinging plants. If they don't have this thing, then all animals would eat them because they're so nourishing. They contain lots of vitamins and minerals and they're high in iron and can be used for anemia and in pregnancy as an iron tonic. They are good for arthritis and gout. They cleanse the blood and cleanse the skin and they are antihistamine and help with hay fever. They emotionally they work on as a resistant and abundant plant. They help us keep our boundaries, help us learn to say no when saying no is difficult or is not common so much anymore. They help us be who we are and not compromise for other people. Very fiery and hot. Take half a pint of water, a pint wanting a quarter of wine and as much vinegar, which being mixed together make a quart and a quarter of a pint more. Then take six ounces of galls beaten into small powder and sifted through a sieve, put this powder into a pot by itself and pour half the water, wine and vinegar into it. Take likewise four ounces of vitriol and beat it into a powder and put it also in a pot by itself wherein too put a quarter of the wine, water and vinegar that remaineth, and to the other quarter put four ounces of gum arabic beaten to powder. That done, cover the three pots close and let them stand three or four days together, stirring them every day three or four times. On the first day set the pot with galls on the fire, and when it begins to seethe, stir it about till it be thoroughly warm, then strain it through a cloth into another pot and mix it with the other two pots, stirring them all well together. And being covered, then let it stand three days, till thou meaneth to use it. On the fourth day, when it is settled, pour it out, and it will be good ink. If there remain any dregs behind, pour some rainwater that hath stand long in a tub or vessel, into it. For the older the water is, the better it is, and keep that until you make more ink, for it is better than clean water. Yes. 
Come all ye young and tender girls that flourish in your prime. Beware, beware, keep your garden fair. Let no man steal your time. Let no man steal your time. For when your time is past and gone, he'll care no more for you. And in the place your time was waste, spread all over with rue. He'll spread all over with rue. Woman is a branchy tree, and man's a clinging vine. And from her branches, carelessly, he'll take what he can find. He'll take what he can find. He'll take what he can find.